afternoon. Uh, welcome to the podcast of the Israel National Hockey Society. I am your host and former Israeli national team goaltender and now co-commissioner of the Israel Elite Ice Hockey League, Mark Brunengraber. Very special guest with us this afternoon, uh, Mike Janello, the first import signing for the Israel Elite Hockey League ever, uh, signing for HC Tel Aviv. Mike, good afternoon. Welcome to the podcast. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's nice to be with you guys. It's a pleasure. Um, just a little bit of a background. Uh, you're currently a player with um, NCAA D3, I believe, Framingham State up in Massachusetts. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what what position do you play for them? I'm a forward. So I and mostly play center, mix in a little bit of wing as well, too. And what year are you in now? Uh, I'm a senior. And a senior now. So getting ready uh, and getting ready to continue the career over in Israel. Um before we get to that, let's back up a little bit. I know um, just from your Elite Prospects page that uh, you played some junior for the Hartford Junior Wolfpack and the Met, and uh, that you played with the Florida Eels, I believe, with uh, the USPHL Elite. How did you hook up with those teams, and what would you say your experiences were like in those leagues? Yeah, um, so I kind of just took the regular, went to prep school um, up in New England, up in Maine. I went to Hebron Academy. And then kind of coming out of there, I was looking to try to find a way to keep playing hockey. So I just did a little bit of research and went to a few tryouts and ended up in Hartford. Uh, Hartford was awesome. That was a really cool experience. It was kind of my first time not living at school, but not living at home, kind of doing my own thing. Um, playing in that league, I had a great time, great coaches. And then the next year went down, played in Florida, which was an unbelievable experience. Uh, I tell everybody being able to leave the rink and go to the beach after practice in the middle of January is kind of something that's a little unique and can't really get beat. But um, yeah, playing in that league was a great time too. Where did, what uh, city was the, were the Eels based out of? Fort Myers beach. So it was like a nice place. Yeah. It was a great place to be in too. There was Florida Gulf coast was right around the corner. Um, the city of Fort Myers beach is actually like an awesome little town. It's a nice little beach, beach town. So it was, kind of just like a cool little area to be stuck playing junior hockey in for a year and a half. No, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't call it stuck. That's the uh, yeah. West Coast, right? Yes, yeah, it is. Not um, too far so. from, say, Naples or Sanibel? Uh, right right north, about 30 minutes north of Sanibel and Naples. Beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah. That's can't, can't get better playing hockey there. That's nice. Not at all. And then uh, you end up playing NCAA D3, which, um, you know, as we tell people – uh, who ask, you know, in Israel, it's, it's really a very high level of play, actually the second highest level uh, in the U.S., you know, despite the name of D3. Right. There really is no D2 in NCAA, we tell people, uh, you know, from Israel. What can you tell people about the difference or the jump up in the level from uh, the junior leagues that you played in? Speed and physicality for the most part. So when you're playing in juniors, obviously the tier three level, it's you're playing with mostly 19, 20 year old guys. Uh, and then as you move into college, everybody, I mean, every single team has 24, 25 year old seniors, 26 year olds. So everybody's big, everybody's developed small guy like me. Like I went in as a 21 year old freshman and I still wasn't completely grown yet. So playing against like, you're going from playing against guys, your own age, your own height to guys that are full blown men. So it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a shock in terms of how hard you're getting hit and how hard you have to, or how quick you have to make decisions. But other than that, yeah, it was a pretty smooth transition. I think playing for the right junior programs really does a good job of helping you prepare to get to the college level. And uh, now, of course, uh, you know, the Israel National Hockey Society, of which myself and Tal are a part, um, we formed the Israel Elite Hockey League, and uh, it's a, a venture designed to be a summer league. Um, the idea being to get some of the best Israeli players within Israel, you know, some of the very top Israeli guys play overseas and in, in pro leagues, but, mm -hmm. but to take some of the best domestically based Israeli players and mix them with good, solid, strong import players like yourself. And uh, it gives them a chance to uh, play with guys who have played in more developed hockey countries. And um, it also gives guys like yourself a chance to stay in shape over the summer and get yeah. some exposure um, so what we're hoping with this league is to, um, you know, really give guys like yourself some exposure, give the domestic guys a chance to get better and, uh, help them get ready for the Israeli, uh, national league, which is run by the Israeli Federation, you know, taking place in the traditional part of the year. 
Um, how did you hear about the league and, and what made you decide that you wanted to make the jump and, and come over? Yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, being a senior, is it was so tough with COVID and cancellations. And so we ended up not playing at all this year. And uh, I kind of took that a little hard and wanted to try to find a, a way to extend playing and keep playing. So I'm, I'm actually friends with on Facebook and Instagram, all these player agents that help people get over to Europe and minor leagues and stuff. And it was actually a teammate who was doing kind of the same thing, who saw one of your fo- posts on Facebook through some agent and he tagged me in it. And he had known from my background being Jewish and having a brother in the IDF that Israel was like something that meant a lot to me. So he tagged me in the post and I kind of ran with it from there, got in contact with you guys and... So, so what is your background and, and how did your brother end up in the IDF? Cause that's certainly an interesting story. I know before we got on camera, we were talking a little bit about it. Yeah. So I grew up in a Jewish household in New Jersey, obviously, um, you know, we cared a lot about the country of Israel and did a lot of research and, and had some family that made Aliyah moved over there. So when my brother was a sophomore in high school, he kind of took it upon himself. He made the decision. That's where he wanted to go to high school. So he, worked with a few programs, did a whole bunch of paperwork. And next thing you knew, he was going to boarding school over in Israel. So um, that was pretty cool. And now he's in the IDF uh, and his IDF service is actually ending right around the same time we're playing, which kind of works out really cool for my parents. So they're excited to. And get hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, he can come watch you play. And, and absolutely. So you, you actually have the distinction of being the league's first import signing and, uh, all four clubs are centrally owned by the league. So you end up with HC Tel Aviv. Uh, couldn't ask for a bigger city or, or more exposure wearing yellow and blue. Uh, don't know who your teammates will be yet, but um, thoughts on uh, playing for Tel Aviv as opposed to, you know, any of the other clubs? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. Obviously, as soon as as soon as that was kind of set in stone, I did a little bit of research and found a, like some stuff up out about Tel Aviv. It looks like an unbelievable city to hang out in and and go out and hopefully you know COVID's kind of moving its way out the back door and we can go about things safely but I'm really excited to get over there and kind of have a good time and and play some good hockey yeah it'll be I I don't know I mean I assume you're aware from having seen the paperwork and whatnot but the league is based out of Halone which is a Tel Aviv suburb and it's an interesting rink um hopefully the fans will be allowed in with COVID, like you said, you know, that it's on its way out when that rink gets rocking, it it fits only about four or 500 fans, but they're on top of you. So it's, it's a really intense atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, Small rink. So it's only suitable for four on four as opposed to traditional five on five. So as a, a forward, um, you're going to get a lot of offensive chances, but you also have to do a lot of back checking. Uh, Anything. Do you know anything about the rink and, you know, in a small surface, if you've ever played on a smaller rink, uh, what do you think you may have to do to adjust your style of play or or adjust overall to the flow? Uh, I don't, so I I actually kind of take pride a little bit in myself being a little bit of a defensive forward. So I don't know that helping out in the D zone is going to be something that comes of too much of an issue, but yeah, I I have seen the small rink. It looks kind of awesome. It's kind of a little bit of a flip flop, right? Like as an American, when you are going to a different country, you kind of expect to be playing in the bigger rinks because yeah. we, we typically play on the smaller rinks. So I thought it, that was just kind of like a, a cool little detail that the rink was going to be smaller and we were playing four on four, but I'm really excited for it. I actually enjoy playing hockey three on three, four on four more as a smaller guy because there's more room to be shifty and kind of yeah. make plays and find some lanes. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. Really excited. That'll be a lot of fun. And uh, as as far as, uh, you know, part of the experience of the league for guys like yourself coming in as imports is you get to do uh, once a week, you get a uh, licensed tour guide that takes you and your fellow teammates and players around uh, to various points of interest uh, within Israel. I know uh, one of the one of the first trips is going to be the Dead Sea, for example, you know, a hike up in the mountains and then, uh, you know, actually get yourself into the water. Um, any particular places you want to see or, or anything particularly that excites you about going? Uh, I think the Western wall obviously is one, um, that you, you definitely, it's a must see when you go over there. Um, but I'm just really excited to see different parts of the country. I know birthright is like a similar type 
trip right where you have the the guide and they're taking you all around to the different points and that's a trip that my mom's actually been harping on me to go on for a while now so being able to do it as part of playing hockey I think is just just a cool experience that yeah I'm really just really looking forward to coming over there and being a part of it that's great and uh, your mom and dad uh, family's going to get to come and see you play it looks like assuming COVID hopefully doesn't yeah do that's the plan hopefully is they can come over and be with my brother as he's kind of leaving the military and then they can all kind of come join in and be fans come to the rink every day and hopefully yeah it's a really really good time and my whole family could be a part of it as well as like everybody moves forward yeah excellent well it's uh it's it's gonna be you know look you're, you're something of a pioneer right it's it's a brand new league we'll see how it goes but we're looking forward uh you know, we've got guys coming in from um, minor pro leagues in Germany and France, um, you know, uh, Finland. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Have you ever played against uh, guys from outside of the States or maybe Canada yet in your career? Or? Yeah, a little bit. You play like minor hockey playing against guys from different countries. Actually, in Bantams, I got a really cool opportunity. We played um, this Ukrainian team came and did a little tour around the United States. So. I uh, have played some teams from other countries, but honestly, really excited to get together with, you know, on the same team as guys from different cultures and see kind of how different styles of play meld together. It's kind of a cool experience that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. And, uh, you know, the games are going to end up being uh, live streamed on YouTube and then available on YouTube afterwards. Um, we have a deal, the league with uh, Eurohockey.com. So stats will be there and we're working on elite prospects. So hopefully it gives you some visibility. Um, any plans to play uh, moving forward in future years, or is it just year by year at this point? What, what are you looking to do in terms of hockey and what are you looking to do after hockey? Yeah. So I'm really kind of just looking forward to getting my career started, I guess a little bit. Um, I kind of mentioned earlier, I took it a little hard when they canceled our season and I kind of was lost, didn't really know what to do with myself and wasn't ready to live that life post playing hockey. So I think this league obviously is, it's presented me with a pretty cool opportunity to kind of get my name out and kind of play in front of some people that I wouldn't have gotten the chance to play in front of before. And hopefully that leads to me finding a roster spot for a regular season next year as well, yeah. And moving yeah, forward, too, I'd, I'd like to play hockey for as long as my body lets me play the game. So, Well, I'm, you know, with this league, um, you know, if you enjoy the experience of Israel and you enjoy the rink and the people and what have you, uh, you know, there are any number of, of good clubs in Israel that, uh, you know, play in the Israeli domestic championship, uh, you know, run by the Federation, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which has official IIHF membership. So, um you never know, maybe you catch the eye of one of those clubs by playing in the summer league, if that's something that you may have interest in or, or catch, uh, you know, the attention of, of leagues, God knows where. We, we don't know yet. That's, yeah. that's the beauty of a brand new thing. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, I appreciate you being here today. Um, we will be looking forward to seeing you out on the ice. And uh, let's do this again after you've played a couple of games and had it under your belt and, and, you know, see what your thoughts are at that time. Sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Stay well, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you very much. You as well. You got it. Take care, boys.